What's going on, little dap? It's DJ Diveny, former college player, pro freestyler, and coach with OSA Soccer Camps and Online Soccer Academy. Today I wanted to share my unscripted story of how I became a Division I soccer player and a professional freestyler. When I was a kid, one of my biggest ambitions was to become a professional soccer player. I also wanted a great education. I realized playing in college would be the best way to achieve both. My ambition was to become an architect, but most schools that offered architecture only had Division I soccer. I knew I was a good player, but I also knew I wasn't amazing and that it would be very hard to be recruited for Division I. I chose NJIT, which stands for New Jersey Institute of Technology, because it was closer to home, affordable, their architecture program, and their soccer program. Even though I knew the coach and had him observe me in games and training, I wasn't able to get recruited there. I had tried out for a walk-on spot instead. Once I got to school, I went to the walk-on tryout. I didn't impress them enough to bring me on the team right away, but was invited to train later in the spring. While studying architecture that semester, I realized it wasn't what I wanted in my education, and not playing soccer at all anymore was taking a huge toll on me physically and emotionally. I decided to switch my major in the spring to astronomy, as it was another serious interest of mine growing up. That spring, NJIT hired a new coach. Immediately, I emailed him, called him, sent him an athletic resume, and went to his office to talk to him. I wanted to show him right away that I wanted to be on that team more than anyone else. Sadly, he was very unresponsive, and instead of giving up, I went to talk to the athletic director, who said there would be another walk-on tryout. This would be my last shot, or I'd be transferring to the College of New Jersey to major in physics education and hopefully play there. I spent every day that spring training for hours, running, lifting, playing, and doing technical work to make sure I would stand out more at tryouts. This time, I did stand out at tryouts. My hard work paid off. I could feel it. A week went by after the tryout and I had yet to hear from the coach and it was starting to get stressful. After my last regular class that semester, I went to the field to knock a ball around to relieve some stress my studies were giving me. I had casual clothes on, cargo shorts, sneakers, a nice polo. I spent about 10 minutes just juggling and dribbling around, popping the ball up really high and easily controlling it over and over again. Little did I know the coach was jogging around on the opposite side of the field. I started to see him walk towards me and I finally realized who it was. He asked how I was doing and talked briefly about the trial. He told me, you know, I've been going back and forth about it, but I think you're a good player and that you can show more. Are you available to play in August and train with the team? I was honestly surprised and extremely happy, but I kept my composure and said, yes, of course. He replied, okay, great, I'll send you the information. Just to be clear though, this doesn't mean you're on the team, you know. We'll bring you in and see how you do, and if it's not working, we'll let you go. His comment didn't even phase me. I knew I had earned the opportunity to play and nothing would stop me. I wanted that level of competition. I trained even harder in the summer than I had in the spring and was one of the most fit players on the team. I earned five appearances and one start that season. I couldn't have been happier or more proud of myself. That's the kind of believe in it attitude I approach my life and work with. I wasn't satisfied with those accomplishments though and continued to push myself to earn more playing time. I excelled on and off the field and became a team captain my senior year because of my work ethic and leadership. My last year on the team, I was fortunate enough to meet one of the members of the New York Red Bull street team. He was training freestyle on our field, so I went over and joined him. After talking and exchanging info, he got me a tryout at Red Bull Arena. I signed work papers immediately following that tryout and have been freestyling ever since. It's amazing. The harder I continue to work, the luckier I seem to get. I started pursuing freestyle on my own as well and created an opportunity out of nothing this past January. This opportunity came from working for California South at their exhibit at the National Soccer Coaches Convention. This is where I met Jared and learned about OSA. He loved my passion for the game and coaching style, so he quickly brought me on as a coach with OSA Soccer Camps and Online Soccer Academy. As a kid, my goal was to become a professional soccer player. I did not become a pro, but I feel fortunate and firmly believe I found something better. I believed in myself, worked hard to pursue my passion for soccer, and I cannot be happier about it. I'm living the dream. I hope you enjoyed my story. Click here to watch our incredibly helpful 200 plus free videos. Go here if you want to believe in it shirt, and go here if you are a coach and want to host an OSA soccer camp. My name is DJ Divini, and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!